I ain't wanna have to do this dog like this, you get what I'm saying? But I heard him say something about my mom, so I couldn't really have that. What is good? We are back with a extra special episode of Games, Gadgets and Rhymes. Today we partnered with Square Enix to bring you a massive episode, the new Final Fantasy VII Remake. So first off, we've got one of the hottest artists in the UK. We've got Abracadabra joining us. Joining him is one of the UK's funniest personalities, man like Sideman. And also, we've got someone who is taking the gaming world by storm. We've got YouTuber Elza Witch. We are going to be giving away a brand new copy of the game as well as a PS4. So stay tuned to find out how to win. Hello, I am Elza. Hello people, Daisy Boy Sideman here. I'm a cadaver in the building, so. If I cry in this video, just understand that I'm still a thug. And thugs cry sometimes too. I'm gonna press start game now. Very excited. Yeah, best graphics on a cutscene by far. I almost believed her face. Barrett, I love Barrett. I imagine Barrett in, to look like that and sound like that. Look how big he is, wow. I can control him from now on. I was walking around with Cloudy. Wait, let me flex first. Let me just, yeah, let me just smash up some of the environment and that before I move and that, just in case ops come out of nowhere, you know what I mean? Halt! Man, don't tell me, Holt. I tell you, Holt, bruv. You're coming with us. Nice and easy. Don't oh, this is cold, you know? Oh my God, okay, cool. This sword is mad. Bang. Nice and easy. Don't think yeah, 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 I hit bear, man. Cloud is now level seven. I like that, bro. I'm already leveling up and that. I only have to hit man two times to level up, you get me? I don't really have to do too much, you get me? Some Harry Potter thing with spells in the... Ooh, that was cool. See, when I play a Final Fantasy game, I have to talk to every character and I have to hear everything that they have to say. So the game takes twice as long for me. If I'm walking in a crowded street, everyone's getting spoken to. I need to know what everyone's saying. This is sick. I remember this exact cutscene from the first one. That's mad. What the hell is that? Is that a dog? Never they got dogs in that. Oh, ruthless. This car dog is powerful. Are you dead? See, this is why I will sit there and level up for three years on a Final Fantasy game before I move a muscle. Because I like when my foes get defeated in one hit. I just like walking around and just slapping man once and then just watching them crumble. So I'll stay here and level up for like three days and not even continue the story. And then start going around the story, just slapping man left, right and centre. I'm actually scared of dogs in real life. What people don't know is that when, I don't know if I should reveal this actually. Anyway, what happened was, is that when I was younger, a dog bit me in my bottom. We don't need to get into it or why it happened, but we just need to understand that I'm more scared of dogs than anything else. I ain't wanna have to do this dog like this, you get what I'm saying? But I heard him say something about my mom, so I couldn't really have that. See, like, I don't even like using my major moves because like, that means I respect you. You know what I mean? I don't really respect you as a man to be using like my full abilities in that. You get hit with the regular slash. So, you know Tifa, right? It's not really my business, but are you guys close? <clears throat> this is what I play Final Fantasy for, the emotional moments. I feel like I'm a romantic wet youth mainly in part to Final Fantasy. You know, things like watching Tidus and Yuna in 10, things like watching Squall and Renoa in 8, their romantic relationships like that. I've, I've always been looking for my Yuna, you get what I'm saying? Oh my God, that sound is so wet. Did Cloud fancy Tifa is what I want to know. I always thought that Cloud and Tifa should be together and not Cloud and Aerith. But... Like, do you see how we paused when he started to talk about Tifa? Man went into a different mode. Like, don't just mention my bae like that. Don't just speak about my girl like that. Final Fantasy is all about the emotions, isn't it? So you can just feel straight away that this isn't like your regular gaming experience by the time there's going to be some tears and some wet wipes involved in this whole experience. All right, let me practice my dash. Okay, I don't want to get sliced by this thing. No, not yet. I ain't even going to risk it. Okay, 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 okay. Cool. No one saw that though. Don't take that out of the footage. Don't put that in there. I don't want people to see me in my shame. Oh, my man got corn on his hand, you know. <laughs> That is well. Oh, I love Barrett. Right, let's go. Am I getting killed? No, Cloud is. Oh, there's one more. Jesus. Charge. Ah! Oh, this looks like a Mazza. Oh, 
busting up, you know. A bigger enemy now. Get me. Oh, fall, fall, fall. Hey, that thing weren't trying to dead, you know. I was here for time, man. I thought there was something wrong, fam. That's like the first big boss that he faced, isn't it? I was trying to see what happens after the I know there's a madder thing than that. Done. I'm not gonna lie. Don't wanna stop playing. It's emotional. All right, so you got to play the game today. Yeah. What did you think? I'm not like a big fighting game person, but yeah. I like how they've taken it. It's more fluid. You can just click one button and you're someone else. So. I was impressed. The series means more to me than it probably should because I feel like my personality has genuinely been carved out somewhat by Final Fantasy. All right, let me throw some questions at you really quickly. You've got 10 seconds to answer each question. First question, what is Cloud's signature weapon? Buster Sword. All right, how much material can Cloud put in his Buster Sword? Two or three? No. Come on, give me an answer. Two, two. two. All right, yeah, that's correct. Who is Avalanche and what is their plan? They want to take over, well, combat Shimra because they don't like how Shimra's using the Mako, Mako to make weapons, is it? Ah, your body's life, yeah. your body's life. All right, last question. Okay. This is a difficult one. What is the best type of material to beat a mechanical enemy? Um, I'll thunder. Give you... Is that right? Thank you yeah, very much. Yeah. You're still not a bit of a bigger fan. I think I am now. I'm gassed now. Oh my gosh, that game is so sick. Like, I'm super gassed. And come on, we want to know what you think about the game. So hit up the comments below and tell us what you think. Yeah, definitely do. And also, do not forget to follow myself, Mr. Midas, and of course, GRM on all the socials. Make sure you are subscribed and check out the competition. I've been Mr. Midas. And I've been Amy Marie, and we, we out. out. So we have a competition for you on this episode of GGR where you can win yourself a brand new copy of Final Fantasy VII Remake as well as a PS4. Yes, we're giving you the console and the game so you can bang it out. Now all you need to do is hit GRM socials on the game's release that is April 10th to find out more details.